guys so it's been a while since i showed my face i apologize um online school you know what i'm saying it's going <laughs> like literally had to get online school um because it's if you live like from texas all the way to like in the tulsa oklahoma -ish, home um, oklahoma ish area uh there's currently a winter storm for like i don't know the fourth third fifth time already um very uh very uh cons consistent um crazy right i'm telling you dude um but it was pretty chill uh homework wasn't too hard so yeah who else is online currently like me let me know in the comments down below i can i bet we can relate especially band members band online is complex <laughs> Anywho, um, I don't want to ramble on here too long because, you know, we've all had a tired day. So have I. So without further ado, let's get mm, straight into it. Okay, everyone. We is in chapter eight. Sunrise, I... You were cut off by his arms wrapping around you in a tight hug. You hugged him back. D d do you want to call me dad? W would that make you happy, Sunflower? You nodded. Then you can call me dad. You smiled at his words, squeezing him a bit tighter. <laughs> Revenge! He squealed and jumped away from you as you tickled his sides. His side. No! He, he laughed out and began to back away as you made grabbing motions at him. Revenge time, dad. <laughs> no! You leaped at him, tickling his sides as he fell on the floor. He pretended to struggle against a great force. No, no, child. Too, too strong. M must resist power. Ah! He rose up, leaping away from you and grasping onto the castle. Stop in the name of the law, you screeched. <laughs> Running after him, gasping as he jumped into the pulpit. You'll never take me alive. He laughed out as he fell into the pulpit. <laughs> You tramped it. You jumped in looking for him. The lights flickered overhead. Hey, was it dark in here or was it just you? Oh. Are y'all chapter nine? Why is it so quiet? So quiet and dark. You hated it. The ball pit, the ball pit rush, rustled a bit. Was something swimming? You rushed away from it. Legs sinking down into the ball pit as you reached forward to pull yourself out. Something brushed against your leg, causing you to trip slightly. You didn't care. You just wanted out. You. You. The thing was rising out of the ball pit. You booked it, running as quickly as your legs could take. Your side, <laughs> sides burning and heaving. Something flew over your head. Ducking, you slammed your heel onto the ground and propelled yourself to your hiding place of choice. You know what? I respect that. I would have ran the hell out of there. <laughs> oh my lord. You, my child, are smart. More smarter than any YN I've seen so far. Probably with more common sense than them too. <laughs> Chapter 10. The thing flew over your hiding spot. You could hear it land on the wall and began crawling around, searching for you. You you held your head, thoughts swirling like a hurricane. This was too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Something scratched at the top of your hiding place. It was taunting you. Make it stop. For the love of God, make it stop. You opened your mouth to call for help, but no sound came out except for a strangled sob. Fresh tears rolled down your face. Hands began to reach into your hiding place oh that actually rhymed Ooh, nice <laughs> you wanted them away you wanted it to stop you, you, you wanted wanted sunrise you call you cried out desperately voice breaking as the thing grabbed your leg dad please please i want my dad you sobbed oh this is getting sad <laughs> Chapter 11. You began to hyperventilate, closing your eyes tightly as the thing pulled you away from your hiding spot. It, it brought you close and... Was it hugging you? Come on, kiddo. Time for bed. Where's my dad? I'm not sure. What does he look like? I could help you find him. You described him. The person listened carefully before nodding. This sounds like sunrise. He did always have a way of having kids like him. You're the one that went after that other kid? Yes. 
Why? He was being bad and broke. Sorry, y'all. Um, got interrupted. But uh, anyways, <laughs> um, he was being bad and broke the one rule we have. They have around here: don't turn off the lights. Exactly. Plus, it was past. It was past his bedtime. Then, then why are you not treating me like you did him? Well, you didn't fight me on the fact that it's bedtime, and good kids don't have to go bed to bed until later. He patted your head. Come on. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he patted your head. Name's Moon, kid. I'm YN. You extended your hand. He shook it before placing you down on the cushion. All right, YN, time for bed. Don't worry. Sunrise will be back tomorrow. Get some sleep. You nodded and slightly, slightly less shaken. You pulled the blanket over your head. Moon seemed nice. You just... Those eyes. You didn't want to see them glow. Good night. Night, kid. You allowed your eyes to shut. What a day. Chapter 12. You opened your eyes slightly, yawning and sitting up. You rubbed your tiredness from your eyes, you rubbed the tiredness from your eyes and jumped back as Sunrise walked over to you with a signature laugh and a little jump. Good morning, Sunflower. A yawn. Uh, morning, Dad. How was last night? You thought over for a moment. I think I made a new friend. He looked confused. New friend? Yeah, his name was Moon. Their face showed no form of emotions, as if ne as it never changed. But you could see the concern in their movements as they walked over and began to search you for injuries. Did he hurt you? You shook your head and Sunrise sighed in relief. He just scared me. I'm fine, Dad, really. You froze as he looked at your arm, directly at a new bruise. What's what's this? It, it, it's just um when he chased me. Chased you? Uh, it's probably when he, he dragged me. His voice went up several keys, sounding familiar, similar to a freaking out, freaked out mother. Dragged you? I'm sorry. No, no, Sunflower, you don't need to be sorry. You didn't do it anything wrong. Moon, however, he trailed off. Well, oh, he's going to have a very harsh talk with that. Mm. Oh, goodness. I'm scared for Moon. Chapter 13. You looked up at them, worry in your eyes as you spoke without thinking. You won't hurt Moon, right? Sunrise looked at you, not physically. Then he rubbed his hands together and continued. His punishment will be... Sunrise dropped down and began whispering to you, Oh. My. God. That's evil genius! You giggled and smiled mysteriously before straightening out your back, looking up at him and saluting with a, Sir, yes, sir! All right, tonight, when the lights go off, you know what to do. You nodded. Do you want to do you wanna do a puppet show with me? You nodded again with a, yeah! Other kids looked at you both. You ran off to the table to make puppets while Sunrise went to go entertain them. Time skip. Lucy, how could you do this to me? Sunrise's puppet Jack cried out. You responded with Lucy turning her back. Uh, I don't love you. I never have. Jack gasped, heartbroken. Lucy, the children. To hell with the children. Maria, I... They both stopped looking at, the, at each other. Who the fuck is Maria? N nobody, Lucy. I meant, is that why you've been running off for weeks on end? He pushed her, slapping her slightly as the as she pulled away with a sob. Lucy! Jack reached out to touch her shoulder. You moved your hand so she would whip around and smack him. He fell back. Don't touch me! She's not my mistress, but I, I, I do have another lover. Lucy turned around. And if you lay your hands on her one more time... I will be the last face you see. T Toby, I, you aren't off the hook. This woman, your wife, you have children. And you don't think to tell me, your fiancé, that this woman has every right to hit you. Look, this doesn't have to end just because I have a... We could have had a family. I would have been... I would have taken good care of these kids if you had just told me. You were... <laughs> you were just then getting a divorce. Toby slumped emotionally and physically exhausted. Now? He turned to Lucy. I'm so sorry about this. I didn't know. No, no, that's all right. You didn't know. I'm, I'm Lucy. Let's get out of here. Bring your, ch bring your kids and I'll meet them. I think we both need a friend in this. He, he glanced back, disgusted. Disgust laced his expressions. Horrid times. <laughs> Did I do good? Did I do good acting? Let me know. <laughs> Chapter 14. Oh, Maria, my one love. 
Sun held up the Maria puppet as you made Lucy speak to her. Thank you for being there for me. You and Toby. Lucy, I want to be more than friends. What? I'm a lesbian, Lucy, and, and, and I'm in love with you. But, but what about the kids? What will they think? So Sunrise moved his hand so it looked like Maria put her hand up to Lucy's face and caressed it. If you aren't ready for a relationship, that's all right. I, I do love you, but this is all so sudden. We've known each other for five months after Toby introduced me to you and, and, we, and we all ganged up on Jack. I, I think I've loved you ever since. Lucy, think about what you want. Do you want to be in a relationship with me or do, do you want to stay friends? I'll be fine with whatever you choose. I'll always love you, but whatever makes you happy see, and seeing you happy will always be enough for me. I... I, Lucy slumped slightly and Maria nodded. I, I, I understand. I understa Lucy jumped forward and kissed Maria, the two embracing after the kiss. I, I want to be your girlfriend, Maria. I also want to be yours, Lucy. So, so, are we together? I think, yes. Yes, we are. Yeah? Lucy laid her head on Maria's shoulder. Maria laid her head on, hand on Lucy's. Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. They both got what they need. They both got what they deserve. Justice. Good for them. <clears throat> Chapter 15. Before we start. Oh, shit. I was like, <laughs> excuse me. Um, This is author's note. So, <laughs> it was nice. Everything was nice. You laid down making a finger painting. A little more blue. Some purple. White. Then orange, red, and done. You signed your name in the corner. Perfect for tonight. You, moon, and sun holding hands. Needed something else. Hmm. Aha. You picked up some glitter glue and wrote my, my family at the top of the paper. Now it was perfect. You began counting silently. And right as you reached one second, the lights turned off. You had been here for about a month. Surprisingly, no one had a problem with it. Everything legal had been worked out. It had been rough to get legal approval to be able to be adopted by an animatronic, but... You ripped your drawing. It was worth it. In your time here, you realized most of the other kids didn't like Moon. You saw a red light. You walked towards it, and gently pulling at the star curtains. Moon turned around and walked over, just like you had planned. Hi again, kid. Hi, this is for you. Moon crouched and gently took the drawing from you. You, they studied it for a while. You looked at them, trying to ga rea gauge a reaction. He looked at you, red eyes scanning your face. Chapter 16. They hugged the drawing to themselves. <laughs> Shoulders shaking like they were crying. Mom? I, I mean, Moom, are you okay? Mom? Did you just call me Mom? You slowly nodded. I I'm sorry, Moon. I didn't know you didn't like glitter. I... I the moon hugged you close. You can call me mom, kid. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you. You hugged him back. Have you ever been given a drawing before, mom? Moon patted your back a bit and shook his head. Th then I'll make more. Enough to fill up a wall. To make up for all the times you never got a drawing. He squeezed you a bit. It didn't hurt. It felt comforting. You know, Sonny told me I had to do something. Hmm? They screeched as you began tickling his sides. Payback, sucker! No! <laughs> they screamed, beginning to try and crawl away. The child! Hands! The child! They flopped around like a fish on land, reminding you of the Spongebob theme song. Curse you, son! They screamed like a stereotypical supervillain. <laughs> oh, my lordy lord. It got very dramatic. I tried my best to act as best as I could. Um, with, you know, the Maria, and, the, you know, I had tried, okay, I tried. Um, for my first try, I don't think I did bad. But let me know how I did in the comments down below. I think I did pretty okay. Okay, I think I did pretty decent, alright? Well, um, and also, <laughs> oh, it was just so cute. I love it, fam. It was so cute. Like, the mom and dad thing was just adorable. But my first question is, um, how did you get adopted by animatronic? I want to know the legal background of how this even came to be. 
But either way, whether it's legal or not legal, it's still very adorable. And these meanings mean a lot to the kid, obviously. Um, but that is just adorable. <laughs> like, I just like in peace, like knowing that the kid's gonna have a good life. Yes. Yes. And sometimes I wish I was in that kid's position because I know I would have a hella fun time with that kid. Guaranteed with sun and moon. Realistically in the game, probably not because, you know, they got glitched. But like in this version, yes. Um, the reason I did Kitchen you because, you know, um, y'all can wait for more. It's okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. But I feel so evil. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos, guys. Um, Let me know what you think is going to happen next. Are they going to have another telenovela puppet edition show or something else? Who knows, but I really do hope they have another puppet show because that was really entertaining <laughs> to read, yes. A puppet show. Yes. It was fun. It's fine. I love telenovelas. It's fine. But anyways, um, for now, I got to go. I wish you all luck if you're on online learning like me or physical learning even more. Um, and I hope this winter storm passes pretty decently because I don't want to be stuck in the house for a while like last time. Ugh. But it's okay. Like, I mean, no school. Online school is... I don't know how to feel. Anyways, um, I gotta go for now. Bye and peace.